you just need one day every day is our day every day is your day so just taking yourself into either your seat or to lay down and when you get there just do a few little wiggles if you're sitting up rolling through the shoulders if you're laying down just letting the eye gaze sort of wander around your space taking where you are rolling a little through the wrists if that feels good and then just let the arms rest let the legs rest into any position hello Hannah that serves you I'm so glad you've made it let's close the eyes and just start with a slow slow gentle breath there in through the nose filling the belly up and sigh dropping the shoulders down. And again, nice and slow, breathing gently in through the nose to expand the belly, feeling open and expansive on that breath in. And out. Let go of the eyes, so the eyelids just resting. And as you let go of the eyelids, see if you can just bring a sense of peace and a softening to the forehead. Let that drip down into the cheeks, the teeth, the mouth, the tongue, the throat. And start to find your breath now gently in through the nose and out through the nose. So this International Women's Day, I thought I would share with you one of my favorite practices. It is probably the simplest meditation practice that I regularly do and it is one of the most beautiful and the most powerful. It's called the Heart Womb River Meditation. So we'll just begin by laying the left hand somewhere near the area of the heart and you could literally lay that on top of where you feel your heart beating. You might take it closer to the throat so where the higher heart energy center is located or slightly lower. So anywhere where you feel a connection, left hand towards heart, and then the right hand lands on top. And just let the hands lightly rest there. So a really gentle feeling of beginning to greet the heart here and just bow the chin down. Bringing that feeling of just being humble, but also a really simple way of greeting yourself with reverence here. Take a gentle breath in through the nose. And as you breathe out, just slightly blow through parted lips and let that breath sink down into your heart, almost as though you're greeting your heart here with love. Stay here for Another gentle breath in through the nose. Breathe out to soften the shoulders, soften the belly. And then find the sweetest, the lightest breath in. And as you breathe out, let that right hand just slide down the body, over the ribs, over the belly, and down to where you feel the center of you, the womb space, the lower part of the body where you feel that to be for you. Let that right hand just lightly rest there. And just with this simple act, this simple gesture of letting the right hand draw down, we're beginning to create this river of energy connecting the heart with the womb space. So the place where we can love from and feel love, connecting us with our seat of creativity the place where we bring life and so much more. So on this International Women's Day, this evening as we gather together, just take some breaths here, left hand to heart, right hand to womb space. Take some moments to give thanks to yourself for all that you do, for all that you are as I send my thanks out to each and every one of you for being exactly who you are and being exactly perfect as you are.
Each time you breathe in, let that breath rise up to the left hand. And as you breathe out, it lowers back down to the right hand. So with each breath that you take, you're strengthening and enhancing that river of energy, connecting love to creativity within you. Staying with this for two more breaths. And then take the deepest breath here in through the nose, right hand comes back up to the left hand. Breathing in, lift the heart up. And as you breathe out with a sigh, let the arms relax and allow the eyes to open. Good. So just taking a moment here, coming back into the room, coming back into the group, feeling any of the after effects of that. And then from wherever you are, just really gently start to make yourself up onto wet, <laughs> take yourself up onto all fours. So you can roll onto a shoulder if you like to, if you're laying on your back or if you're seating, perhaps rolling over the knees. Just do a graceful doggy crawl back to my mats. And we'll find ourselves in our tabletop pose. And just when you get here, take the knees out wide if that feels good for the hips and start to circle into the hips. So just let the eyes close and any movement is good here. Stillness is also good. So if you just want to be still, maybe you just sink the hips back and come into your child's pose and you just feel soothed by the stillness. So this is some time to just inquire, what do I need tonight, right here, right now? And one of my favorite things ever is when I can just look at the screen and see everyone doing completely different things because I know then that you're just being guided by your intuition, by what your body needs in this moment, not worrying about what you thought you might be doing or what you felt you needed yesterday. It's just about the here and now. So taking some gentle movement here, and then we'll come into a tabletop position, lining the wrists up underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Let the shoulders draw down away from the ears and start to draw the belly in and up. Let the gaze soften down between the thumbs. And as you breathe in, roll the shoulders down, let the belly go, start to draw the heart forward through, breathing into that open throat, open heart. And on the out breath, push down through the palms, draw the belly in and up, roll the tailbone down, roll the lower back down and breathe into the back of the body. And again, as you breathe in, roll the shoulders down, peel the heart forwards, let the elbows soften in. And as you breathe out, push down through the palms, chin to chest. So just keep that movement going, but you can start to add on here. So see how I'm starting to snake the hips back? And then I'm drawing the chest forwards because that feels quite soothing to me. Or you might start to come into a little bit of a figure of eight motion with the ribs, but you're still undulating the spine here and just checking in with that breath in and out through the nose so you can start to calm the nervous system, settle the body down so that no matter what has happened today or what may happen next, that in these moments now, we're really looking after ourselves and you are really taking care of you simply by breathing gently in and out through the nose, your rhythm, your breath, your little internal beat there. So just take one more of those and then we'll come back through to center. So shoulders over wrists, knees, underneath hips. From here, we're gonna extend the right leg out to the right side and flatten the right foot to the mat. See if you can line up the right foot with the left knee and then really draw down through the outer edge of that right foot if you can. Good, soften the shoulders down. As you press into that left hand, reach the right arm up. So the chest starts to spiral open, draw the belly in, take a breath to reach up. And on your out breath, start to thread right hands underneath left armpit, softening that left elbow as you reach over to the left side. And then breathing in to open out again, chest open, letting that gaze softly move with the right fingertips. Out breath to thread it under. Good, one more time reaching up to open. Threading all the way under. 
And then just lift up, hold for a moment, reaching right fingertips all the way up. Start to draw the shoulders away from the ears. Draw the belly in, take one more breath. And then we're gonna either thread the right hand under to come down to land on right ear, right cheek, right shoulder. Or if that's too much for your shoulders, which it definitely is for mine, then come down onto that right forearm and keep pushing down through the outer edge of that right foot. Draw the belly in. And then start to see if you can take your left hand towards the lower back or the right hip, and then take the shoulders and the chest over to the left side. So it's quite an intense twist for the upper back. Keep the belly pulling in and keep rooting down through the outer edge of that right foot, taking one more breath wherever you are, and then slowly, carefully, left hand comes back down, push down through that left hand to reach the right arm up. And then right hand comes all the way down to the mat. Good, so we're pushing to both of the hands now and just start to hover that right leg up as you reach it towards the back of your mat. Take a look over your right shoulder, check that right leg's nice and square, the right hip is closed, the big toes are pointing down and then pushing down through the both of the hands especially, start to lift up through that left arm. Left fingertips reach forwards, right leg kicks back. Take a breath in to stretch long. And as you breathe out, draw the right knee forwards and just sweep that left arm all the way back and let the head go. Two more times, breathe and reach forwards. Out breath, sweep the left arm back down and up. One more time, keep pushing down strong through the front of the left shin and the right hand. Draw the left arm back and then come all the way back to tabletop position. Take a little bit of a wiggle, maybe a little cat cow there to reset the spine. Good, and then we'll go on to the other side. Nicely done, everybody. So left leg extends out, left foot flat to the mat. Really root down through both of the hands. Check the hips are nice and square, and then pushing down through that right hand, nice deep breath, left arm reaches up, chest is opening here. Good, as you breathe out, soften the right elbow, thread the left hand under. Good, and then just keep going like that two more times on the in-breath to reach up. Just checking in with that gaze. Let the gaze move nice and slow. Lovely. Need to get some glasses. Can't see anyone from back there. Excellent stuff. Good, so one more time to open up. And then as you come to thread under, see how it feels to reach under or left forearm can come down. So as you get to this position, soften the shoulders and then right hand comes to the lower back so that you can start to draw the chest round. Shoulders are softening away from the ears and you're really working into the top part of the back here, the upper back. Keep breathing in and out through the nose. Take one more breath in and out. And then releasing right hand down, reach up through that left arm and then left hand comes back down to the mat. Good, we'll push down through both of the hands now. So you lift up the left leg, sweep it towards the back of the mat. Left leg is hovering. You're squeezing into that left butt cheek and then right arm reaches forwards. Keep pushing away with that left hand. Take a deep breath to reach out. And on the out breath, draw the left knee forwards and sweep that right arm back. Breathe in to stretch forwards. Again, keep letting the face soften. Let the gaze move slow. Out breath to draw back. One more time, starting to work into the core here, firing up that core. Out breath, draw back. And then come all the way back through to tabletop position. Lovely, let's just take one cat cow here. So nice deep breath in, chest forwards, shoulders down. Out breath, round through, draw the belly in and up. Good, and then back to tabletop position. Last little stretch here. Push down through the left hand and reach the right arm up once more. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, draw the right hand down and then flexing that right hand, start to push the right hand forwards, flexing the fingertips back towards your face. So the kind of edge of that right hand touches down. Let the left elbow bend, let the chest drop down and just let go of the head here, let go of the neck. So you just start to feel a nice deep stretch along the right side, right ribs, right waist. Keep breathing here. Feeling the expansion through the right side, keep the belly pulling in and up. Take one more breath in. Let it go. And then slowly push down through that left hand, 
reach the right arm up, and then right hand comes back down. Good, we're going to the left side now. So reaching up through those left fingertips. And as you come down, push that left hand forwards through the air. Left fingertips flex back towards the face. Soften the right elbow. Let the neck go. Let the forehead just relax down. Good, and just feel those sensations through the left ribs, the left waist this time. Great, everyone. Doing really well. Taking one more breath in there. Breathing out. And then nice and carefully start to lift yourself back up. Let that left arm reach up. And then left hand comes all the way down to the mat. Good, we'll take the hands forward now. Just one hand print from the line of the shoulders. Tuck the toes underneath us. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And as you breathe out, push down through the hands, lift the hips up, coming into your downward facing dog. And then when you get there, take some pedals through the feet. Bend the right knee, bend the left knee. Sway the hips a little bit side to side. Just check in once more with how you're feeling inside physically, how the body's feeling, any emotional stuff that is coming to the surface for you. And just know that we have got this whole rest of this hour together to just work through whatever's there. So you don't need to push any of it away. This is really just about welcoming in all that we are, all that we have, just listening, seeing what's there, no judgment, just pure acceptance, pure love for yourselves tonight, if you can. So let's find some stillness now in our downward facing dog. Stretch the heels down towards the mat and push the hands forwards and down, sending the mat forwards and down away from you. If the shoulders are punched up, soften the elbows out towards the sides and then wrap them under so that you can really broaden the upper back. Squeeze the belly in and up. And if you need to, bend the knees, draw the belly in. Either send that gaze forwards or let it look, or let the gaze look back or down. See what feels best for your neck. Let's take a breath in, lift high on the toes. And as we breathe out, bend the knees, belly to thighs, push the heels down, just like a little wave through the spine. Two more times, breathing in, heels up. Breathing out, belly to thighs, stretch the heels down. One more time, breathing in, heels up. Breathing out, bend knees, stretch belly to thighs, let the heels soften. And next breath in, rippling up and over, come to a high plank, stacking the shoulders over the wrist and letting the heels press back. Draw the belly in and up and keep pushing away with the hands, squeeze the belly. So we're gonna take the big toes to touch from here, roll both sets of heels over to the left, and reach that right arm up, coming into a little side plank. If you need to drop down to that left shin, please do, but really push down strong through that left hand, soften the shoulders away from the ears. See if you can lift the hips a little higher. Good, staying there for one more breath, and then right hand comes down, coming back through your high plank, taking a breath in, and out breath, heels roll over to the right side, left arm reaches up, Again, if you need to drop down to that right shin, please do. Just listen to your body, no competition. Squeeze the bottom, lift the hips a little higher, and then left hand comes all the way down to the mat. Taking one more breath here and through the nose, reach the crown forwards, and then slowly drop the knees, untuck the toes, lower all the way down to the belly. Good, as you get down to the belly, take the hands wide, so hands come out from that Line of the shoulders, push the fingertips down, lift the palms and the elbows up. Press the tops of the feet and the hip bones down. And then as you breathe in, push down through the fingertips, ripple the chest up. Out breath, chest comes down. Two more times, really squeezing the legs, drawing that chest forwards, arcing up. Out breath, draping it down. One more time, feeling that wave moving up through the spine. Out breath, chest comes down, and then slide the hands back underneath the shoulders next to the chest. Take a breath in through the nose, and then push up through all fours or plank. Come to your downward facing dog. Good, once we get to down dog, looking to the top of the mat, walk the feet all the way forwards. So feet come to the top of the mat. Let the knees bend and let the whole body hang down. Great, you can catch up his elbows here if you like. Take a little sway over to the right side and the left side. Let the neck go. 
And just know here that in this fold, this feeling of surrender, this feeling of the lower back and the whole back of the body being nice and open, we can start to absorb in. So the back of the body, the back of the heart especially, is where we can draw love in, receive love. And then the lower back, we have that gateway there where we can draw peace in through the lower back. So just stay in this little surrender for one more breath. Breathe in and out. And then shuffle the feet together. Start to roll all the way up through the spine. So coming up in a little roll, draw the belly in. As you come to standing, roll the shoulders up and roll the shoulders down. Hands to prayer at heart centre. Close the eyes for two breaths here. Soften the gaze, soften the mouth. Push the feet down into the earth, reach the crown up. Take a strong breath in and our arms come down, palms forwards, and then we'll interlace the thumbs, reach the arms up. So palms are facing forwards now, fingers are spread, squeeze the bottom, draw the lower back down, but see if you can lift up through the chest, the throat is open, perhaps you look up and back. And as you breathe out, reach the arms forwards, bend the knees, sweep the arms behind you, interlace the fingers, and reach those knuckles up and overhead, breathing into the shoulders. Take one more breath in here, soften the neck and let it go. Press the hands down now to in the mat. Take a breath to lift up halfway, find a flat back, draw the belly in and then soften and fold it down. Press both hands down, bend the knees and just step the left foot towards the back of the mat. Take the fingertips down either side of that right foot. Good, keep the left knee off. And as you breathe in from here, just start to soften the shoulders away from the ears. Squeeze the belly in. Imagine you're drawing the heart forwards. And on the out breath, push down through the fingertips, straighten that right leg any amount, the forehead, comes a little closer to that right shin. Two more times like that. Breathe in, heart draws forwards, shoulders melt down. Out breath, draw in through the lower belly, use the fingertips to push the floor away. One more time, shoulders melting, soften the gaze, looking forwards, out breath, reach those hips up, and then re-bend the right knee, press the hands down, see if you can keep the hips nice and low so hips stay square, step the right foot towards the back of the mat, high plank. Take a strong breath in through the nose, draw the belly in, and as you breathe out, either lower the knees or come down, elbows tucking in towards the side of the waist. On the in-breath, lifting up through your up dog or a version of your cobra, shoulders melting away. And as you breathe out, rolling over the toes, hips up, downward facing dog. Good, lovely stuff everyone. Taking a breath in through the nose, lifting the heels up. And as you breathe out, drop those heels down. Lovely stuff. So we'll lift the right leg up from here, stretch back through that right heel. Nice long line of energy all the way up the right side of the body. Draw the belly in, take a breath in. And as you breathe out, squeeze that right knee forwards into the center line. See if you can tap right knee to nose or forehead. Hover here, push the floor away. And then step the right foot forwards in between the hands. Yeah, Nicola, awesome. Keeping that left knee off the mat, push down through the right heel and then start to lift up the arms coming into your high lunge. So just check or feel with that mind-body connection at the hips are square or take the hands to the hips and just feel what's happening in your body. Don't be afraid to just do that. Get in touch with yourself, your body, your physicality. Let that right knee bend and either press back through that left heel strong or soften the left knee. See how it feels for the lower back. Let's reach the arms up. Take a breath here in through the nose. And as we breathe out, start to draw the chest forwards Reach the arms back, palms face up, soften the shoulders down. Reach forwards through the crown and press back through that left heel. Keep dropping down so right thigh is parallel, but see if you can lift the belly off the right thigh. Nice strong arms here. Long line of energy from the left heel to the crown. So we'll take three more like that. As we breathe in, arms reach up, chest lifts. And out breath, arms reach back, shoulders melt. Two more, breathe in, push down through that right heel lift. Out breath, chest down, arms back. Last time, breathing, chest up, arms up. Out breath, chest down, arms back. And then keeping that line with the body, just stretch the arms forwards. Take one more breath here. 
yeah, and then hands down a little ahead of that right foot, put the weight into the right foot and reach that left leg up. So we're just taking it to about parallel, flexing through that left heel, and then see if you can lift away from that right hip. If there's any sort of jamming or compression there, draw the crown forwards, take a breath in. And as you breathe out, let both knees soften, let the head go, come into a little bit of a crouch. Crouch the technical yoga pose, <laughs> yoga word, breathe in, lift up, out breath to crouch. <laughs> Two more times, breathe and kick back through that left heel. Out breath, bend the knees, come into that little ball. One more time, reach up. Out breath, squeeze the knees in. Reach up one more time to that kick through the left heel. Walk the hands a little further in towards that right foot if it's available to you. Stretch the left leg a little further up. Take one more breath and then slowly step left foot next to the right foot at the top of the mat. Let the body hang down, take a little sway right side, sway left side. And then as you press the feet together, interlace the thumbs and reach the arms up, that little butterfly grip with the hands there, pushing down through the feet, breathing in, reach up, chest open. And then on the out breath, let go of that grip, bend the knees, reach the arms back to an interlace, knuckles stretch up and overhead, let go of the neck. Good, as you breathe in, let go of the hands, find a flat back, belly to spine, crown forwards, and then soften down through those knees. Press the hands down, and this time step the right foot towards the back of the mat. Good, everyone's looking great. By the way, excellent stuff. So the right knee stays lifted, feet are about hips width apart, and then start already to draw the chest forward as you just lightly use those fingertips there. Softening the shoulders down, take a breath, chest open, and as you breathe out, push down through fingertips, straighten the left leg any amount. Two more, breathing in, draw the heart forwards. Out breath, belly to spine, breathe into the back of that left leg. One more time, nice and slow, nice and smooth. With intention, with purpose, draw the belly in and up. And then slowly re-bend that left knee, plant the hands down and just intend if you can to float that left leg towards the back of the mat, coming back into your high plank. Good, push down through palms strongly, reach the crown forwards, draw the belly in, take one more breath there and then choose to either lower the knees or come down, tucking the elbows in and back, moving through your flow, lifting up through a version of Cobra or your up dog. And then rolling over the toes, belly to spine, hips up, downward facing dog. Let's take a breath in here, heels up, out breath, drop the heels. Good. One of the most amazing things I think about being a woman is our creativity, how you can be so many different things. And yet here you are just moving for you tonight. So just being super proud of yourselves for showing up tonight, each and every one of you. So let's push down through that right heel now. Reach up with the left leg. Take a breath here in through the nose, left heel kicks back. And as you breathe out, draw the left knee forwards, really arc through the upper back. Draw that left knee in towards the nose. Can you hover there, soften the shoulders? And then light steps, left foot forwards, in between the hands. Great, right knee stays lifted, feet and hips width apart. And then when you're ready, push down strong through that left heel to help you stabilize. Reach up with the arms, come to high lunge. And then sink the weight down. So if you feel like you're tilting forwards or tilting back, if you feel that you need to reshuffle the feet, please do. But let yourself ground here, let yourself settle. Let your energy really sink down. And as you push down through that left foot especially, you have the potential to draw earth energy. So this is the love of the mother, the earth energy, up through that left foot. Let her support you here. Take a breath in, arms reach up. And out breath, chest down, arms back, crown of head reaches forwards, coming into this arrow lunge and holding it here. So let that right heel press back. Let that signify perhaps past versions of you or things that you need to let go of. And as the crown reaches forwards, it's like a little glimmer of hope reaching forwards. Stay here for a breath. And out. And then flowing, arms reach up, chest up. Out breath, chest down, arms back. Two more times, really feel the power of the legs here. 
that left heel, especially that left glute. One more time, reaching arms up, taking chest down, arms back, holding the line with the body and then extending arms forwards, biceps to ears. Take one more breath in, already shifting that weight a little into the left foot, hands reach forwards, right leg kicks up and back. So taking that right leg parallel, push down through that left foot and let the fingertips support you here. Doing good, take a breath in. And as you breathe up, both knees bend, let the neck go. And again, breathing into kickback. Out breath, squeeze in. Two more times, kicking back, shoulders soft. Out breath, the face is soft as well. So no need to really concentrate, just finding your flow taking it moment to moment, knees soften in, and then stretching that right leg up and back, come into a version of your standing split. So it may be that nothing changes physically, but you're really finding the focus here. Or perhaps the hands walk in towards that left foot and you let the head go in towards that left shin. So taking one more breath, and then slowly right foot steps next to the left foot. Good, let the body hang, take a little sway over to the right, take a little sway over to the left, and then coming back through to centre, let the thumbs cross, interlace, push down through the feet, reach the arms up, take a steady breath here in through the nose, chest open, and then as you breathe out, soften the knees, reach the arms back, come back to that interlace. See if you can place the other thumb at the front of that interlace grip this time. Reach the knuckles up. Good, on the in-breath, let the hands go. Come straight away to a flat back, belly to spine, crown forwards, and then soften the knees. Press the hands down, step the left foot back, bend the right knee. On your in-breath, draw the chest forwards, and as you breathe out, straighten the right leg, forehead close to that right knee. As you breathe in once more, chest forwards. One more time, straighten through that right leg. Keeping the right leg straight this time. Take both hands either side of that right foot, push into the left toes, and then reach the right leg up and back, three-legged dog, point the right toes. Good, as you breathe in, ripple up and over three-legged plank, and either let that left knee come down to flow from there, or keep the left knee lifted as you slowly lower yourself down, and then lift up through your up dog, or a version of cobra, up breath, chin to chest, Belly to spine, hips up, downward facing dog. Let's take a strong breath in through the nose, lift the heels up. As you breathe out, sigh, heels down. Good, we're keeping it going. You guys are doing awesome. Press down through that left heel, reach the right leg up, kicking out through that right heel. This time, bend the right knee to open through the hip. Take a breath, lift a little higher. And on the out breath, right knee taps, right elbow, shift the weight forwards. Breathe and stretch it up with control. Out breath, right knee to left elbow, carving underneath the body. Good, stretch it up. And then next time, step that right foot forward, in between the hands. Lovely. Keep the left knee up. And as you push down through the right heel, lift the arms up, coming into high lunge. Draw the belly in and fix the gaze ahead. Just one still point here. On the in-breath, arms reach up, perhaps you look up. And as you breathe out, chest forwards, arms back, coming into that arrow lunge. As you breathe in, arms up. Out breath, chest down, arms back. And then coming all the way up to our high lunge, we're gonna hold it here and start to shift the weight into that right foot. And as you do this, squeeze the elbows in, and transfer the weight into the right foot, draw the left knee up in towards the chest. Good, so we're pushing down strong through that right foot here. We're gonna to prepare to step back into our high lunge and do this a couple of times. So on the in-breath, left toes step back, arms reach up. And as you breathe out, you draw the elbows in and pick up that left foot. Perhaps you push the hands away as you now step that left foot back. So just working with your energy here, really feeling that you can almost hold onto the air to give you a little bit of support. One more time, left knee squeezes up and then step back to that high lunge. Take a breath, arms up. And on the out breath, fingertips dive forward, pick up that left foot, flexing the left foot. Good, coming into our standing splits. Point the left toes, draw the chest towards that right side. Take one more breath in. 
and out breath, left foot steps next to the right foot. Interlace the thumbs, push down through the feet, roll all the way up through the spine, just like a wave here, chest open, draw the lower back down. And on the out breath, bend the knees, reach the arms back, interlacing those knuckles. Super duper stuff. As we breathe in, let go of that grip, draw the crown forwards, and then slowly soften the knees, step the right foot back, right knee stays lifted, coming into this runner's lunge. As we breathe in, we feel an opening for the throat and the gaze softly looks forwards. Out breath, straight and left leg, any amount. One more time, breathe in, collarbones open, shoulders melt. Out breath, push down through fingertips, hands frame that left foot. As we now guide the left toes up and back, three-legged dog. Feel the length here through the arms as you then ripple up and over three-legged plank. And you can let that right knee come down if you need to, or hover down with the right knee lifted. Squeezing the chest forwards, pulling back with the hands for your cobra, and then rolling back over the toes or through the knees. Come back to downward facing dog. Good, take a deep breath in, draw that breath up through the palms of the hands, through the toes, and out breath, sinking down. One more time, breathing in, feeling that motherly love, almost that nurturing energy being drawn through the palms, the soles of the feet. Out breath, melt the heels down, and then we'll lift up that right leg. Keep breathing, good. Left knee bends open through that hip. Stay for one more breath to peel the left hip open. And the, on the out breath, left knee taps left elbow or tricep. Breathe and stretch it up with control, with intention here, with focus. Left knee to right elbow, feeling that twist. Good, last time, reach it up. Looking strong, ladies, step that left foot forwards in between the hands. As you're ready, push down through the left heel, lift the arms up, high lunge. Good, soften the shoulders down and then find that breath to grow taller through the spine. And as you breathe out, reach the crown forward, stretch the arms back. One more time, breathe in, float the arms up. Out breath, keep pressing back through that right heel. Arms reach up and now you find that focus ahead. Start to shift the weight forwards, taking a breath in. And as you breathe out, draw the right knee up in towards the chest, elbows squeeze back. And then keep that flowing from there. So on the in-breath, guiding the right toes back, arms reach up. Out-breath, draw in. So pushing through the air perhaps as you extend back. Letting the arms flow in any way that feels supportive to you. This is your practice, remember. I'm just watching over you really. Good. So squeezing into hold. And then step back, finding those strong legs, power legs, arms reach up. And then we'll tilt ourselves forwards, come into standing splits. So however that works for you, it may be that you stay as you are, or hands walking towards that left foot, stretching the right toes up for one more breath. And then right foot lands next to the left. Interlacing the thumbs one last time, push down through the feet, roll all the way up through the spine. And then hands come down to prayer at the heart center. Close the eyes. Either keep the hands there, reconnect to that heart room river, or let the arms rest down next to the body. And just take some moments here, just for you. Reconnecting. Moment to center. Moment to be. Taking a sweet, gentle breath here in. And out. Letting the arms come down next to the body as you just blink the eyes open. Wonderful stuff. So we're just finding our feet here in mountain pose. Oh, we've got loads more time for some fun stuff. Good, so good time for a sip of water actually, you are reminding me. Feel free to grab a little sip. Awesome stuff. Okie dokie, so we've got one more little flow to go through and then time for a little bit of balancing. So we'll come to um, the front of our mats 
and just bring the feet together. Lovely ladies, what a team, <laughs> what a team. Good. So drop down through the shoulders and as you breathe in, sweep the arms out and up. Grow as long as you can. And on the out breath, sweep the arms back, swan dive the chest all the way down, let go of the head. As you come down here, just let the forearms wrap behind the calves and let the head go. So it's just encouraging your shoulders to draw away from the ears. You can keep the knees bent, or you might start to pull up on the thighs, sending the weight forward into the big toes and just breathing into any tightness that you feel on the shoulders and the upper back. Taking one more breath in and out, letting the hands go. Next breath in, we find a flat back, but this time reach the arms back like aeroplane wings, draw the crown forward, squeeze the belly in, and then slowly hands relax down to the mat, bend the knees, and just set the left foot towards the back of the mat. Drop that left heel down, line up the right heel with the arch of the left foot, and then wiggle the arms up, coming into your warrior two. Great, sink down, bend into that right knee rather. Take the right thigh parallel and right knee on top of right ankle. Squeeze the bottom so you just can encourage to feel the hips opening, but relax the shoulders, stretch the arms away, and then focus over the middle finger of that right hand. Really roll down through the outer edge of that left foot. Good, strong warriors as expected. Let's really soften the shoulders, keep reaching through the arms. And from here, we're gonna bend the right elbow, take the right hand behind the neck. And if you've got the flexibility to take left fingertips behind, or if not, left hand comes to right elbow, and you just encourage that forearm back. Good, breathing into the right side, draw the belly in. Take a breath here, just lift the chest. And on your out breath, keeping hold of the position that you have with the arms, start to take the crown and the chest forwards. So you're coming into your side angle here with the upper body, but the arms are still in this wrap. So it's intensive here. So go slowly and keep rooting down through the feet. Take one more breath and then slowly we'll lift up. Let go of the arms. And on the in breath, push down through that right foot straight and the right leg, arms reach up. As you breathe out, cactus the arms, re-bend that right knee. Two more times, arms reach up on the breath in. Out breath to cactus, spread the chest open. One more time, push down through that right foot, reach up. And as you come through this cactus shape of the arms, come to an interlace at the lower back. Draw the knuckles down and start to angle the chest forwards, collarbones open, lift up. And then humble warrior, draw the crown forwards, Draw the chest down inside that right thigh. Reach the knuckles up and overhead. Release the index fingers if you need to, but keep pushing down through that right big toe. Stay there for one more breath. And then as you release, push down through that right foot. Come up through your reverse warrior. Right arm reaches up and back. And just take a nice deep breath into that right side. You can take the left hand behind you. You may even from here take right hand back behind the head. Do you feel that stretch a little deeper? But wherever you are, we'll stay for one more breath. And then lift up out of that right leg, right leg straightens, both sets of toes turn to the long edge of your mat. Reach the arms out. Good, palms are forwards here. Take a nice deep breath, collarbones open. And as you breathe out, take the hands to the hips, start to draw the chest forwards and fold it all the way down. Lovely. Good. As you come down, we'll take the hands underneath the shoulders and then start to walk the hands forwards. So it's almost like you're coming into downward facing dog with the spine, but the legs are staying super wide here. Push the ground forwards and down away from you, taking the weight so it's evenly, it's not too far forwards into the toes, not too far back into the heels, and you're drawing the belly in. So we're gonna take a twist from here. So we'll start to bend into that right knee and take the left hand to the outer edge of that right calf. Once you've got this, you can start to straighten through that right leg and bend the left elbow and start to draw the chest round to the right side. So shoulders and chest ring underneath that right armpit. Just breathe here. Try not to let that left hip sink down, keeping the hips nice and even. 
Feeling that twist for one more breath. And then release. Come back into that downward facing dog spine for a breath in. And then we'll walk both hands round to frame the right foot to the top of the mat. Take a breath in through the nose, chest forwards, and then let that left knee come down. Untuck the left toes. Good, lovely. Push down through that right foot and arms lift up, coming through to a low lunge. Good, take a moment to settle here, reach the arms up, and then we'll interlace the hands and take the hands behind the back of the skull, back of the neck, and just simply let, if you can, the head be held in the hands. See if you can take some tension out of the neck. And you might even take the thumbs here and just give the neck, the base of the neck, a little bit of a rub, a little bit of love. Staying here, or to go deeper, start to push down through right foot in front of left shin, and then see how it feels to lift that left knee off the mat. Keep sending that right heel down, pushing away strongly, taking one more breath, draw the chest up, and then slowly replace that left knee down. Good, take the hands forwards. Lovely, we're gonna tuck the left toes, lift the left knee, and then turn both sets of toes to the right side as we come into our grasshopper stretch for our hips. So find the knife edge of the left foot, find the knife edge of the right foot. If you need to shuffle the right foot down, please do. But then reach up through that right arm, take a breath in, out breath, dip the hips, reach back. Two more times, reaching up and over, out breath to lower. Last time, breathe in to lift, out breath to lower, breathe in, lift and hold, and either stay here or send the right foot towards the left foot side plank. Option to also step the right toes behind you and open into your wild thing. So just supporting yourself wherever you are by breathing gently in and out through the nose for one more breath. And then slowly, carefully making our way back through high plank. Take a strong breath, push floor away, and then slowly lower all the way down to the belly. Option to take the hands out wide and take a nice wide cobra, pushing down through those fingertips, chest open, and then chest drapes all the way down. Lovely, send the hands down, lift up through knees or plank, and downward facing dog. Lovely, so looking to the top of the mat, We'll walk the feet forwards all the way to the top of the mat. When you get there, bring the big toes to touch, bend the knees, sink the hips back, and then lift up the arms. We're coming into chair pose this time. So draw the lower belly in if you can. Sink the weight a little further back in towards the heels, but keep reaching up through the arms. Spiraling the armpits in, baby fingers draw in, thumbs draw out, so that you can open through the top of the back. Can you sink a little deeper? And can you send the weight a little further back? Feeling the power here, feeling the fire in, the, in your belly for one more breath, and then slowly folding down. Strong breath in through the nose, those aeroplane wings, arms reach back, and then bending the knees, step the right foot towards the back of the mat, drop the right heel down, and on your in-breath, wimble the arms up, coming to warrior two on the left side. So stretch the arms away from one another, squeeze the bottom and then sink it down. And as you draw that earth energy up through the feet, let that help you to lift up all four sides of the waist. That energy comes up to the crown of the head and then let it spill out so that it helps you soften the shoulders down. Taking a breath in here and out. Lovely, this time left elbow bends behind the back of the neck and right hand catches the top of that elbow or reaches behind to take the wrap. Good, let's start to lift the chest up, keep the feet strong, keep the outer edge of that right foot rolling down, breathing in, and then draw the belly forwards, use the quarter support here if you can, as you just tilt forwards and intend to roll that right shoulder back, left shoulder underneath you. Good, one more breath in, and then slowly lift up to release that, those arms. Good, ladies, on our in-breath, we push down through the left, the arms reach up. Out-breath to cactus the arms, spread the chest open. Two more times in your own way, breathing in, lift up. Out-breath, spreading the chest. One more time, lifting up. Out-breath, chest open as you now come down to that interlace, draw the knuckles down behind you, lift up through the throat, drawing the chest forwards 
And on the out breath, humble warrior. So just let go here, surrender anything that may be blocking you, anything that may be holding you back, anything perhaps attached to the ego, anything that's saying no or that's stopping. Just let that dissolve perhaps here for one breath and then on the in-breath lift up, left palm flips, reach up and back, reverse warrior. Nice deep breath into that left side, drawing that left hip down. And then we'll rotate the left toes towards the long edge of the mat and reach the arms out. Palms are opening here, draw the chest up. And on the out breath, you can keep the arms lifted perhaps this time as you dive forwards or take them back to the hips to support you. When you get down again, walking the hands forwards, come into that downward facing dog version with the spine. Push the ground forwards and down away. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. Take a breath just to lift the chest. And as you breathe out, squeeze the belly in. Let the chest drop. Good. So from here, we'll take that same twist. So start to soften the left knee. Right hand reaches underneath that left arm. Outer edge of the left calf or left ankle. And then you start to look underneath that left armpit, eventually starting to straighten that left leg and then the right elbow, feeling that twist through the upper part of the back, the upper part of the spine. Let's see how we're doing. Great, awesome, Joe. Just like that. Lovely. Great, Agatha. Take one more breath. Nice one, Dion. And then slowly, carefully, lovely, Danielle, coming to release, coming back to that downward facing dog spine and then walking both hands round towards the left foot top of the mat. Take a breath in, draw the chest forwards, and then slowly right knee comes down, untuck the toes. On that in breath, lift up the arms, come to low lunge. And as we breathe out, hands come to interlace, back of skull or back of neck. So just feeling once more if you can, the weight of the head, just being supported. What a lovely sensation. Find your breath here. Maybe let the thumbs reach down towards that neck. And if you want to go deeper, push down through the left foot, hover the right knee from the mat. Let that right leg extend back. Squeeze the right butt cheek, lift the chest, and then slowly right knee comes back down. Hands frame the left foot this time. And as they frame the left foot, tuck the right toes, lift the right knee. Both sets of toes rotate to the left side. And again, if it's too intense, shuffle that left foot down, but push down through the right hand, left arm reaches up. Gentle breath in, hips up, and out breath, hips lower. Two more times, breathing in to rise up. Feeling that breath, out breath to lower. One more time, nice and gentle, softening through the face. Slowly lower down. And as you lift up, either hold, or option to step left foot towards right foot, even stepping those toes behind you so that you can lift up into a version of your wild thing. So just feeling the stretch across the throat, but keep pushing down through that right hand, staying for one more breath, and then we'll roll back over to our high plank. Doing so good. Take a breath there in through the nose. And as you breathe out, lower all the way down to the belly, using the control, tucking the elbows in. Gentle, sweet breath in, collarbones open. And then push back up through the hands, come onto knees, tuck toes, downward facing dog. Good, take a breath in. And out. Lovely ladies, time is actually almost up. So let's ripple up and over, come to plank. And from your plank, come all the way down to your belly. Time does fly. And you're having as much fun as us. I know, I know. So when you get down to your belly, well done. Let your right ear, right cheek make contact with the mat. And as you do this, stretch your right arm out to your right side. So right ear, right cheek to the mat, right arm reaches out, right palm is flat. Use that left hand next to the left chest bend the left knee and then start to push the ground away from you so that you can roll up and over to land on your right ear, right cheek, right shoulder, feeling a nice deep stretch for that right shoulder, that right chest, either keeping the left hand in front of you, supporting there, perhaps you take it behind. I'm just gonna show you anyone that's stuck. So just rolling up and over. 
you can keep the left hand in front of you or take the left hand to the lower back. Perhaps you even bend the left knee, catch hold with that left foot. And breathe. Same for one more breath. And then slowly release, coming back through to centre. Let the left arm reach out this time, left ear, left cheek to the mat, right hand next to right chest. Lift yourself up and over. Just feeling the sensations down the left shoulder. Any adjustments that you made the first time around, feel free. And then take your time, well done, to come back through to centre. Lovely stuff. Let's roll over onto our backs, grabbing a sip of water along the way if you need to. And then coming to lay down. On top of the earth. When you get down there, take a nice full body stretch, reaching the arms out, reaching the legs out. And then hug the knees in towards the belly, give them a squeeze in. Little rock over right side, left side. Any little wiggles here. And then just find stillness for a breath. Can you really roll the knees in towards the belly? And at the same time, roll the lower back down, roll the shoulders down. Taking one more breath. And from here, we'll find our way into happy baby by flexing the feet up, sliding the hands down towards the feet pushing the feet out and up, dropping down through the shoulders and really see once more if you can roll the shoulders down, roll the lower back down and send your breath into your beautiful hips. Feel free to rock or just be still for one more breath in. And out. As you now let go of the feet, let the feet touch down to the mat, knees stay bent, feet come out as wide as the mat, let the arms reach out, either nice capital T or cactus arms, take a gentle breath in through the nose, and on your out breath, knees falling over to the right side, let the gaze fall out over that left shoulder, and just send the breath here all the way down the left side of the body, Let go through the forehead, the eyes if you can, the lips, the mouth, the cheeks and the tongue. And then slowly, carefully, see if you can engage through the belly to lift the knees through centre. And then over towards the left, head rolling out over the right shoulder if that feels okay for the neck. Just notice any gripping here that might be happening through the inner thighs, the ankles, the shoulders, the wrists. See if you can let that go. And then carefully moving back through center, giving those knees perhaps one final squeeze in. Any lasting bits of moving around that you need to make. And then when you're ready, you can start to make your way down to lay down on your back. What can you do to make yourself comfortable here? Do you choose to take the arms and the legs out wide? Do you perhaps replace one hand to the heart, one to the womb to recreate that river? of energy, but do you close the eyes, do you close the eyes. Let's take a deep breath together in through the nose and out. Allow the body to melt down into that ever-present, nourishing, accepting, loving embrace of the mother who lays 
and sits below us. Let her know that you are resting now. Each breath in that you take fills you with a feeling of peace, feeling of harmony within. And as you breathe out, you just leave an imprint, almost like a little snapshot of you onto the earth, which is received by the very heart of the earth. The feeling of sending the photo of the child to the mother. Each breath in brings more peace. Each breath out enhances that little snapshot of you. So I'm leaving you here with some words that I wrote for us earlier while sitting on the beach, thinking of what it is to be a woman and this is especially for each one of you wonderful and uniquely special women that I see before me and I feel before me tonight. Women, you started as a whisper, a droplet from the stars. You came to earth on angels' wings who protected your sacred heart. Women, when I think of you, my eyes, they fill with tears. For if they knew what it took to be you, you would surely be worshipped and you would know no fear. And yet fear you have known and you know it still because you protect all on earth with your heart. So tonight, can I ask you to release your fears? Because as we know, being a woman is an art an art you polish, dream on and create, day and night until late. But on this night, women know this, you are women, you are the keepers of the gate. So I'm leaving you here with my love. As always, thank you for allowing me to watch over you. Such an honour and a pleasure as always. Rest well, wonderful, wonderful women. And I'll see you soon. Take good care and sleep well.